It's the American Royal Barbecue Week on the Slacker Morning Show. Now, here's Slacker. That's right. We are spotlighting some of the fine restaurants in and around the greater Kansas City, celebrating 40 years of the American Royal World Series of Barbecue. For most of us, I think we all kind of know it as the American Royal Barbecue. It kicks off this weekend, and the official sponsor this year is Kansas City Original Zarda's Barbecue. And I'm very pleased to welcome back my good buddy, the COO of Zarda Barbecue, with two locations in Kansas City, Blue Springs and Lenexa. Please welcome Mr. Terry Heyer. How are you? Good, good. Good to see you. You smell. What is that? Is that your car? No, that's hickory. (laughs) That's some smoke, baby. That is some smoke. That is some fresh cut burn ins right out of the pit this morning. Actually just cut them up here before we went on there. We've got football going on. The Chiefs are on fire already. And you guys have the smoke and the fire to make any Chiefs tailgate perfect. We've catered the Kansas City Chiefs now for 31 years training camps and you know we start out in liberty back with marty schottenheimer all the way up to of course this year up in in st joe with uh, andy reed and that group it's always the turning point of the year for us you know once you get the chiefs training camp you know it's on world series of barbecues right around the corner tailgating at home tailgating at the stadium catering takes off it's it's a magical time of the year in kansas city we've got lots to talk about this morning but i i couldn't continue on without acknowledging mike and and uh, what a loss this has been this year for you guys yeah Mike uh, was a co-founder of Zarda, uh, and he was there when I walked in the doors uh, as a 15-year-old kid uh, back in 1980. We lost him on June 2nd uh, unexpectedly. He, he went through a, a battle and uh, just couldn't couldn't come through it. You know, for our organization, who he was, he taught us, and we called ourselves the Lost Boys. There was a whole group of us, and we're all still there, that he kind of took under his wing. He became a second father for us. He taught us barbecue, taught us a bunch of stuff probably he shouldn't have taught us. <laughs> Uh, he, but he taught us he taught us how to live life, take care of people, and along the way to make some great barbecue and, and, and celebrate that. And I think it's pretty safe to say, too, and I've talked to so many uh, restaurant owners of competition barbecue restaurants who will say that Mike helped them mm-hmm. in the beginning of their career in, in the business and with their teams and, and getting started, which is kind of unheard of, you know. I think really what we've seen is barbecue is this huge community. You know, I think there's there's this competitive thing and, and, and certainly at the Royal, everybody's out there competing, trying sure. to take the trophy. And, and even within Kansas City with as many barbecue joints as we have in this town, but there's a huge fabric, a huge community, a give back, both both to the community in general and that, and that trying to help each other out when we can. And, uh, you know, that was the spirit of Mike Zarda. His heart was larger than life and the way that he interacted with us and, and those around him you know, I mean, he, he was special. He really was. Terry Heyer, my guest this morning from Zarda Barbecue, two locations, Blue Springs and, of course, Lenexa. And so many people will tell me that they can't have occasions without having Zarda beans and Zarda burn ends and Zarda barbecue. And, and you guys ship all around the United States. Well, you know, it's funny. We we actually some years ago catered a wedding, you know, in Denver. And, and the chef had called and, and they were going to have Zarda. And so we, we had it boxed up and shipped into the hotel and they took it from there. And we, of course, have catered down in uh, Boca Raton, Florida for a futures convention years ago. Catered the Royals and in, in, uh, spring training. Uh, so, you know, we'll take barbecue anywhere you want to go, Slacker. I mean, you know, we have a saying. We'll take it any anywhere, anytime, any place that you want to go. We'll bring we'll bring barbecue to the party you know one of the things that we're doing now that i think has been really fun and we've done it uh you know at a creative convergence down the crossroads just recently but we're we're showing up at orders and instead of a prime rib carving station we've got a burnt in carving station so we bring a pit master out and we'll put the points of the brisket down fresh out of the pit and literally hand carve them and put them on their plates as they're going through the catering order so we can bring it to you and do it that way or you can pick it up take it home and uh, tailgate in your living room we were fortunate enough in 2018 to win a little contest through the Kansas City Star on the Kansas City's best burn ends. And I will tell you that we've had so many people that said, hey, I haven't been there in a while, or, or gosh, I, I just hadn't made my way to Zarda. I, I think the burn ends have become this measuring stick. It used to be ribs. I really feel like burn ends in Kansas City now, that's what people want when they walk through the door. Not just brisket, sure, not just ribs, and, and there's a lot of popular dishes, but man, do they want to come after the burn ends. And, and these things here, they are like putting a little piece of uh, burning candy in your mouth. You know, we were talking before we went on the air that this is year 40 for yeah. you? Yeah. My God. For me. Yeah. 
You guys continue to be innovative, and there's some things that will be coming up here in the next month or so, some of the sliders that are uh, on the horizon. Yeah, and, and that's been a real fun part of it, I think, is just kind of evolving with barbecue, the scene in Kansas City, and it's growing, and, and that's that's the fun part, the, the mad scientist in the kitchen, you know, where you're having fun. And uh, we, We've got a sandwich right now, Slacker. It's uh, the turkey crunch, and we're taking a turkey breast, and we're deep frying that. We're thin slicing it, and it's got that edge of crisp on the outside. We're melting provolone. Uh, we're putting a, a, a house-made chipotle mayo on that thing. It, it is unbelievable on a toasted Roma bun. Literally melts in your mouth. That's my favorite sandwich right now, if you can't tell. I mean, if I'm doing a sandwich, that's the one. Uh, but, you know, then we've got um, so many others in our limited reserve sandwich line. And we're going to turn those into sliders. So starting in October, two for Tuesdays, we're going to have a slider platter that's available in both locations. And that'll take the turkey crunch I just talked about, put it on a slider. You can take uh, our Carolina, you know, Sweet Carolina, put that on a slider. Take the hog wild, fresh ham, pulled pork, melted provolone, two strips of bacon on a toasted Roma bun. <laughs> you can get that on a slider. So if you, you know, you say there's too many choices. Sure. We're going to give you choices with the sliders. Make it fun. Come in, build your platter. And, you know, who knows? Maybe two's not enough. Maybe you need four and we can do that too. <laughs> when you say four, why are you looking at me? Come on. I need six. That's Terry right. Heyer, my guest this morning from Zarda Barbecue. Two locations in Kansas City, of course, in Blue Springs and Lenexa. Cater, carry in, carry out, eat in. I tell you what, that's I think that's kind of the way you should go. I would always like to sit down and enjoy my barbecue right there. People still like to get around the table. They still like to physically be around you the bet. table with grandparents and kids running around, spreading out some food on a table, and just enjoying an afternoon or an evening. And I don't think in Kansas City there's a better way to do that than barbecue. I think it connects us. We saw that as kids with Mike Zarda. Yeah. And I see it in our dining rooms uh, every weekend, people getting together and connecting. So it's still, it still makes sense to come in and enjoy uh, a meal together. Well, we're going to give you a chance to enjoy a meal with your family if you haven't been to Zarda. Zardas lately or haven't made your chance to get to Zardas, we're going to give you a gift card at 576-77FX. Terry Heyer. To you and all of your great team at Zardas, man, wish you a happy American Royal, and, and I'm sure we'll see you out there this weekend. That sounds good. We'll be there. We've got the uh, the pit row picnic out there for the first 5,000 people through the gates on Saturday. Not Friday. On Saturday, the first 5,000 are going to get a free pulled pork sandwich, a Zarda baked bean, a Reese potato salad. Absolutely adds value to your ticket. They've got live music going. And one last thing, Slacker, I really think in Kansas City, we're used to the American Royal. It's an iconic event, but I think we lose track that this is a non-for-profit. They are giving away throughout the course of a year over a million dollars in youth education and scholarships. It's an important organization. This is a, their biggest fundraiser is the American Royal, so we will see you out there. Well, it's Kansas City's biggest party, and we will see you out there this weekend at the Kansas Speedway. Terry Hires, Zarda Barbecue. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Give Appreciate us a call it. now. 576-77-FX. The Slacker Morning Show. It has the best variety of music. It just entertains me on the way to work. You guys play great music. It always puts me in a good mood. On 101 The Fox.